Number 11. How much of a solution that is 18% fertilizer must be mixed with a solution that is 30% fertilizer to get 50 gallons of a solution that is 27% fertilizer? Okay. So, soon, as usual, traditional way, what are you going to do? I create a matrix. We have here in number 11. We have solution one. You mix with solution number two. And solution three. I'll do in very details. Dr. Farber? Yes. Sorry, is this um, number 11 for the statewide? Make sure, make sure. Oh, okay, thank you. Make sure. Do you have handouts in front of you? Nicole, in future, very easy. Just look through this handout. If you have a number 11, make sure so. Would be statewide. And what we know, unit of measurement. So far, soon we have three objects, like an object in programming, and we have properties. What property? Read this question. You have in gallons. And what else? Second. Percent of what? Uh, fertilizer. Percent of fertilizer. And you get here gallons of fertilizer. Now, again, three objects and three properties. Incorporate, read this question, incorporate the detail. So you know the final solution is supposed to be 50 gallons. And they ask you how much you have to use solution one. You don't know, they don't know either. If this is 50 total and this is X, this would be 50 minus X. Any questions so far? Now, what about percentage? This 18% compared to decimals is 0.18. The second is 30%. Which is 0.30. The next is 27%, which is 0.27. And this column is product of these two. Any questions so far? To ask me. No questions, right? It would be 0.18 times x. This 0.30. I have 50 minus X. And this is 0.27 times 50. After that simple logic, if you combine two ingredients, you will get this mixture. And you can write the equation of this. 0.18X plus 0.30 times 50 minus x equals 0.27 times 50. I will multiply both part by 100 to get rid, take different color to get rid of these decimals. If you have any question, ask me. This one, 100. After you go to 100, you have what? 18x plus 30 times 50 minus x equals 27 times 50. 
18x plus 15 and two zeros minus 30x equals 135 zero, right? What is it? 135 zero. And by like terms, you will have a negative 12x and minus 1500. Let me erase a little bit here to save space and time. Okay, minus 1500 and minus 1500. Negative twelve x equals to what? Negative one fifty. You divide by negative twelve both parts. Cancel out. And after division, I'll get twelve point five. 12.50. What is it? Gallons. And this was the question. What is this 100%? 100. So this is uh, my car. Nicole. Nicole, you here with me? My car. Yeah. Rochelle. Good. So uh, this kind of question very popular in any test, not only in your SHSAT, but also, let's say, in SAT, in many tests. And especially now, since this year, they switched to uh, digital SAT, where time is very important. So this is traditional way. It helps you a lot. But what to do if you want to solve it faster? I show a shortcut how to do this. So if you'd like, you can use both. But this is must because this you understand what is going on here. Okay. Who has questions about this? No questions? Let me do the second way. The second. I can use this space or this space. Okay. Let me leave this one and I use this space probe. So this will be the first way. Traditional. And here I use the second way. First way. If you have a different mixture, what are you supposed to do? Make a line. And I split this plane by two semi-plane above and below. On the top, I have percentage, like here. And the bottom of this line, let me write it neatly. I have what? Gallons. I don't have too much room over there. I might write it neatly. So we have this 18%, they don't know how many. I put here a line, this 18% and this is X. Okay. So far so good. 27% is 50. This our mixture. And we, Make sure all is in the middle. 27% is 50. And finally, one more line related to this guy. This is 30%. And this is 50 minus X. We don't need this table. I just read this problem and just organize data around of this. So far, so good. Just you can build this from this way. 
Now the next step. This product, this time this, well, this time this equal this time this. Look at this. 18 times x plus. Let me use different color to emphasize lines. This time. Here it is. This time this, this time this, even better to make it longer somehow. Visualization help you. And this equals to this time this. Okay. So 18 times x plus 30 times 50 minus x equals 27 times 50. Or 18x, I squeeze it, plus like we did over there, plus 1500 minus 30x equals 1350. Select terms minus 1500 and minus 1500 and combine like terms. You get negative 12x cancel out equals to negative 150. Divide by negative 12 and you get 12.5 gallons. You can play also the same. But this is slightly faster, faster. So I very often solve both ways in this case. Who has question about this approach? Which you like more, number one or number two? Let's vote, who like number one more? Okay, put your hands down. Who likes number who likes number two more? Good idea to have both of them, right? Both of them. This is more understandable what you're doing. This is more formal way. But the result always the same. Well, answer this and this, students. Sometimes we need shortcut. <laughs> 